previously on Trail Frogs. I should probably address the elephant in the room. That is what we're doing with the Sierra. Didn't go. Skipped it. Goodbye. Didn't do it. One week later. So, as you can see, we are back on trail. Um, ended up skipping the Sierra. I waited in Kenny Meadows for about three days trying to find a group and it just wasn't happening. So we went home for a week, which wasn't too bad. Got to see family, which was great. Went surfing a few times and yeah, it was, it was nice. So we're back on trail. We ended up flying from LAX to Reno and then taking a bus from Reno to Shelton or not Shelton what am I saying from Reno to Susanville and then we took another bus this morning at 5 a.m. from Susanville over to Chester so skip this snowy Sierra for now we're gonna go back at the end of the trail and complete that section um, we're in this burn area and it's gonna be like this for the next probably 30 or so miles plan is to do 15 miles today and then do a 20 tomorrow and it's necessary we do a 20 tomorrow because it's an area that requires a bear canister if you're camping so we're gonna try to do it in a day and bypass that whole bear canister rule so should be a good day feels so good to be back on trail uh, foot still just as much pain as it was before I got off trail maybe even a little more pain uh, because I wasn't doing my exercises. I thought surfing would be enough for it, but it definitely wasn't um, Yeah, so it's gonna be a good day We did 15 miles yesterday. That brought us right to the border of the Lassen National Park Wilderness Boundary. Uh, so we didn't need, or we don't need a bear can today because we slept right on the border. So now we're doing 20 miles. Uh, not much going on, just hiking through a burn area. It's been like this for the past probably 17 miles or so since we started right out of Chester. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long it goes on for, but I believe it goes on for the rest of today, maybe a little bit of tomorrow, from what I've seen from other people posting stuff online. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to see snow today. There's a very small chance we will. I know we're definitely going to see snow at some point this week, but uh, I'm not sure when exactly it starts. I haven't really been looking at a map too much. I've just been kind of enjoying, enjoying the hike and uh, trying not to think too far ahead. But there's some good snow up there. I don't think we're going that way. I think we're going this way, but it should be a good day. We're gonna be uh, passing a campground in a few miles here, and they should have uh, a water spigot. And then we'll eventually take a lunch break and, uh, and just chill out and cruise as far as we can go, but we gotta do at least 20 miles today. How's 
now. We need micro spikes. <laughs> We just made it to the end of the Lassen Volcanic Wilderness Area. So we no longer need to keep hiking. We can uh, we can set up camp now. We've done about 20 miles. We're gonna try doing about 1.2 more miles to get to an area that's supposed to be pretty good for camping. And man, my feet are sore. I'm taking a few days off the trail and then coming back on and doing 20 was a lot harder than, than I expected. But we're almost there, almost to camp. I'm cheating. Caramel gel mix. We are about four and a half, five miles away from Old Station. Uh, it's a small town. They got a diner and a gas station. So we're going to stop in real quick. Maybe go to the diner, maybe just go to the gas station and get a Dr. Pepper. Not sure yet, but we're going to go there. There's also a cave called Subway Cave that's a little off trail. Uh, we might go check it out depending on how we're feeling in a little bit here. I heard it's pretty cool, so I'm hoping we can check it out. And we're going to try to do, I guess, another 20 miles today. We're trying to do 20s all the way through until we make it to uh, to the next, next town. Lauren, what's the name of the next town? Bernie. I can't remember the names of these towns. So yeah, we're trying to do 20s all the way to Bernie. And there's a church in Bernie that we can stay in for free. They got showers, they got a kitchen. So that is the plan as of right now. So we're in Old Station, we just got some sandwiches at JJ's Cafe. Then we did a small little snack resupply at the gas station. And now we're hiking about a half mile over to Subway Cave. checked out the cave and they did a two-hour siesta it's about 5 o'clock p.m. right now it's got to be like 93 degrees right now um, we were supposed to kind of beat the heat wave make it to Bernie before the heat wave started but we just got an update on the weather and it looks like tomorrow is gonna be like 96 and then the day after that's gonna be about the same maybe a little a little less um, so right now it's five o'clock. We're gonna see how far we can get. The next water source or possible water source is in about eight miles. So we're trying to get it at least to that far. We're trying to at least get that far. Jeez, I can't even talk. And we might do a little bit of night hiking, not sure. But uh, man, tomorrow's gonna suck. This section, it's not as covered as the other, other section we were in earlier today or even the day before. A lot of people say it's pretty open the whole way over to Bernie. Um, and again, it's gonna be really, really hot and there's not a lot of water sources. So it's gonna be a brutal two days and we're gonna try to see what we can do to stay cool. But it looks like night hiking might be a possibility.
started hiking around 5.30 this morning. Done about seven miles and we're about 20 miles away from Bernie. I think we're just gonna go as far as we can today. And then uh, tomorrow, hopefully only have a few miles into Bernie so we can get there early in the morning. Now that we're gonna push all the way to Bernie today, just makes more sense to camp on trail and then only hike a few miles into town. And so far it's, it's 8.30. It's uh, already really, really hot. It's supposed to be a high of I think 96 today. It's either 94 or 96. Uh, so that's gonna be wonderful. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get a lot of miles done. We might have to do a siesta and then do a little bit of uh, like sunset night hiking if it gets too hot. I'm hoping we don't have to though. But hopefully it's a good day. So it's right before noon. It is hot as hell. We just did a little mini break at the water cache. And now we're hiking on as far as we can get. There's hopefully another water cache coming up in a, in a few miles here. And we're gonna see if we can kind of camel back up there and then do an actual lunch break under a tree or something and wait for the temperature to cool down because it's, uh, it's approaching peak heat of the day. And it is really, really hot and it sucks. Uh, I wasn't expecting NorCal to get this hot. And I was definitely wasn't expecting it to be this dry. It's, it's like a drier heat than like desert heat. It's super, super hot and super dry. So yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of rough right now, but we're probably about maybe, I don't know, 17 miles away from Bernie, maybe a little less. And we will be there tomorrow in air conditioning and eating town food. So that's good. Entire shoulder strap and hip belt broke off my backpack. The uh, the stitching down here at the base of the backpack, underneath the arm, failed, and uh, so now I'm sewing it back together with dental floss, and hopefully it works all right. I guess we'll see. It's just so thick; it's hard to push the needle through. The backpack has successfully been repaired. I don't know if you can see that, I can't see the screen. But backpack is fixed. Uh, that was like a 30, 40 minute break. And we're going to hike as far as we can go. Peak heat of the day, which is amazing. And then we're gonna take another another siesta break in, uh, in a few hours here. It's 4.35, it's really, really hot. So we're just taking a siesta. We've been taking a siesta for uh, about maybe an hour and a half. And we're hoping that we can start hiking again soon. Finally made it to camp. It was so hot today, oh my gosh, that was insane. Um, we were able to get water at the water cache, so we got, we don't wanna take too much since there's not a ton of water there, so we took uh, two and a half liters, and we are filthy. The freaking volcanic rock and the, the soil underneath it just, it's like, it's like baby powder. <laughs> you just kick it up and it just sticks to your sunscreen and your sweat, so we are filthy. I'm gonna take a a bath with baby wipes and then cook some dinner and pass out. We are about seven miles away from Bernie. 6.30 in the morning. Slept pretty good, other than the mosquitoes. Um, I got like 30 mosquito bites on my legs in the past two days. There's mosquitoes everywhere, it's insane. It's like clouds of mosquitoes. Um, other than that, right now it's pretty cool. So I'm really hoping that we can get uh, seven miles done super quick before it starts to warm up. And hopefully we'll be in Bernie in no time. Do it. 
the biggest sleepover in the world. Just left Bernie, spent the night at the church down there, super great. Uh, had hot showers, did some laundry, got to wear some loner clothes while we did laundry. It was a good time. And now we're hiking eight miles to Bernie Falls. So it's supposed to be pretty cool there. Really excited to see the falls. I believe they have a general store there, the deli. So we're going to the, the deli, gonna go get a sandwich, look at the waterfalls, and then see how many miles we can do today. We're about 90 miles from Mount Shasta. out of the uh, the exposed section and back under a uh, tree canopy it's uh, a little before eight o'clock at night we just made it to our water crossing we we're less than a mile from camp and yeah it was a very very hot day I am so excited to set up camp and uh, eat dinner and pass out <laughs> we just broke down camp there was mosquitoes everywhere uh, when we're setting up the tent and I mean it took us two minutes to set up the tent and I looked down at my leg and I had probably 20 mosquitoes just on my calf alone it's pretty crazy I don't have a bug net Lauren does so she's got hers on right now um, we got some Sawyer D on our legs we don't have any uh, what is it called uh, Picardin we're getting some shipped up to Shasta because uh, the DEET has a tendency to eat through synthetic clothing um, so we're trying to be really frugal with it when we use it and not get it on any of our clothes since our clothes are polyester synthetic uh, plastic based uh, fabrics um, we're gonna try doing 20 miles today we're gonna hit some snow uh, it's supposed to be a little bit of snow it shouldn't be too bad it's gonna be a fun day um, hopefully we can keep these mosquitoes away and hopefully it isn't super hot but I believe it's gonna be 94 degrees today so we'll see about 11 or 12 miles in for the day it's pretty darn warm but luckily we've had a decent amount of coverage above us for the day so it hasn't been super bad not as bad as yesterday uh, we are about three miles away from where the snow apparently starts uh, the last comment we've seen on far out is from a few days ago so we're not sure how accurate it is because of this heat wave it's possible that most of the snow is already melted uh, it's also entirely possible that uh, there's still going to be a ton of snow up there and it's going to be super slushy because of the, the heat, so we're going to see in a little bit.
it's about 5 30 p.m we've done 17 miles today didn't film too much because it was really humid and hot today just wasn't really feeling it uh it's been beautiful today though i mean you can tell by the river behind me it's it's been very very scenic i'm really really enjoying norcal uh, we got about 15 miles tomorrow to get us to the city of shasta so we're gonna try to get to the i-5 freeway so we're gonna go about four more more four more miles tonight and then we're gonna do a 15 mile day tomorrow wake up super early and uh, a trail angel is supposed to pick us up so hopefully it works out 6 30 in the morning we are about 12 miles away from interstate 5 where we're gonna get picked up from a trail angel and brought into the town of mount shasta